635 contaminated milk leads to a health scare for dozens of students in Camden County. And now parents are asking for answers this morning. I've been as news reporter Jen Carabello joining us live now to bring us up to date. This was quite a scene at the school yesterday there, Jan. Good morning. Scary stuff, Janelle. Good morning. Camden County health officials say in all, four schools were impacted by this tainted milk. Now, fortunately, all the students who needed to be taken to the hospital yesterday have since been discharged, and some students were cleared there on the scene. But as we mentioned, imagine hearing that your child drank tainted milk. This was a scary situation. In a statement, the Camden City School District said it investigated a possible contamination of milk at the Early Childhood Development Center on Pine Street. Officials determined that the substance found in the cartons was a non toxic sanitizer that runs through the vendor machines prior to milk. The district says, unfortunately, many cartons were filled with the sanitizer, sealed, and shipped out. We're told 11 students were taken to Virtual Our Lady of Lords for treatment, and 21 students were taken to Cooper Medical Center. Meantime, at RT Cream Elementary, 15 students were examined on site, and five students had to be taken to the hospital, and that included seven year old Raymere Bacon L. His mother was especially concerned about him since Raymere is in remission after being diagnosed with cancer at just four months old. And that message said that the milk was contaminated with a sanitation cleaning product. That, that's not going to sit well with any parent. Mistakes happen. I, I totally get that, but that, that's a big mistake. I'm going to send him with a note. Please do not give my child any milk. I will send him with water or some juice. Now, the district says it is in communication with the milk company. In the meantime, they've pulled all the milk from their supply and will not be serving milk until a full investigation is complete. We're reporting live. Jan Carabao, CBS3, Eyewitness News Channel. All right, Jan, with the update. Thank you for that, Jan.